Tommy Eight practically every night. Yeah. yeah. You look absolutely gorgeous, and Thank the thing you. that strikes me about you is that they make you up on the show to look old. Because in real life, look, you look like 16 years old. Oh, isn't he lovely? Thank you so much. Mr. Smooth? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you. What's it like playing such a, a put-upon character? For me, Pauline has been a great lesson because also it, it's taught me a lot because I've never had to really cry before. Yeah. And, and um, I think I've done a pretty good job of Pauline. And, and it, it stretches you as, a, as an actor, doesn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that she should do something outrageous, though? I, I wanted to do something outrageous, because you're kind of an outrageous person yourself. I think she should occasionally, you know, well, I don't know, what? I'm quite conservative, actually, oh, if you must know. Oh, are you really? Yes. Um, well, yes, I think Pauline will. I mean, she's, she has been, I don't know if you've noticed, viewers, but she has been quietly discarding the cardigans and they still when they want to knock Pauline not me but they want to knock Pauline in the press they still go back to her cardigans and she hardly wears them at all now and I'll tell you why we started off with the cardigans so I had somewhere to put my cigarettes and lighter and if I hadn't got a cardigan on they'd tuck behind one of the pictures on the sideboard so now you know right you started in comedy and and here is well two legends together have a look at this you? No, no, Sophia, you must be good. Oh, but I am good. You can ask any of the fellas round here. <laughs> Sophia, please, leave him alone, the young master. I know, where, I know where he hasn't been. Please, now, find your straws and get out. I've still got them on. No. <laughs> straws, not drawers. <laughs> oh, she's common. She really is. <laughs> Was Frankie Howard like to work with? Oh, I thought he was wonderful because I, I had older parents, so I was brought up with being taken to the theatre and seeing people like Frankie Howard, Max Wall, Crazy Gang, yeah. that sort of thing, you know. And to work with Frankie Howard, I felt was an honour. And some years later, I, in, well, in 1972, I then went over to Belfast with him to do a show for the troops. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, w what do you enjoy doing? Say, after a hard day playing Pauline, what, what do you? like to do in your spare time I mean it's, you know well, I'm not yes. asking you out by the way <laughs> no I like to get home as quickly as possible I mean I get out of there like a dog out of trap too and um, no I just like to go home and relax and have a very happy home life fortunately yeah and there's there's me and my pet my companion now listen you brought your beloved Shirley Shirley Brown Shirley the dog Shirley Brown yes uh, with you tonight I have well uh, will she come on I hope so. Well, uh, call her out then. Shirley, come on. Hey. Oh, give it up for Shirley. <laughs> come here. Do you think she might come up here? <laughs> here she comes. Oh, bless her. Hi, Shirley. Shirley Brahms. Now, this is a dog that is fully studio trained because... Uh, yes. Won't bite me, will it? Because no. we had the emu on earlier on. There's a whole. No, don't worry. Malarkey. Shirley's much better. Hi, behaved. Shirley. How are you? Hi. Yeah. How long have you had Shirley? I've had her since she was eight weeks old, and she was six last February. She's shy. She is a bit shy, but when you when she sees the camera, she's there. <laughs> you see what I mean. Well, listen. It's nice to meet Shirley and you. Thank you very much for coming on Thank our you. TV favourite. Here we go. Wendy Richards. Time now.